In this video, you'll apply and create colors and also explore Creative Cloud libraries. So let's start by adding color to the different parts of the pizza logo you've created so far. So that you can see the whole artboard to start, choose View, Fit Artboard in Window. Select the Selection tool in the Tools panel and click the triangle to select it. In the Properties panel on the right, you'll see Settings and Controls for the selected artwork. Lots of these options can be found in multiple locations throughout the program. The content in this panel actually changes depending on what's selected. Now, artwork in Illustrator like this triangle can have a fill, which can be a solid color, gradient, or pattern, and a stroke or a border. Click the fill color in the properties panel to see either a series of default colors called swatches with this option selected, or the ability to make your own color with this option selected. Make sure the swatches option is selected so you can see these colors. Every document starts with a series of default colors called swatches. Select a yellow color swatch by clicking on it. And you can even see a tooltip that gives you a color name here. You can easily also create a new color or edit color swatches in Illustrator using a variety of methods. To create a new color, click the color mixer option up here. You can either drag in the color field down here to make a color, or change the color values up here. So we all have the same color. We'll change the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black values, which are printing inks, to cyan 7, you can type in the value, magenta 8, yellow 52, and black 0. Colors made in here aren't saved as swatches by default. To save the color you just made so you can easily reuse it later, you can save it as a swatch, or in a Creative Cloud library. Open the Libraries panel by choosing Window, Libraries. Creative Cloud libraries are an easy way to create and store shared content like images, colors, text styles, text objects, Adobe stock assets, and a lot more between Illustrator projects and other Adobe desktop and mobile apps. To use libraries, you need to be signed in with your Creative Cloud ID, which you should be, and you can always get an Adobe ID if you don't have one. You can use the default library called My Library, or you can create a new one, which is what you'll do. From this menu at the top of the panel, choose Create New Library. Name it Side Slice Pizza Logo. Then click Create to make a new library. Now you'll save the color fill of the triangle so you can use it later. With the triangle still selected, Click the Add Content Plus down here at the bottom of the Libraries panel and make sure Fill Color is selected, but not Stroke Color or Graphic. Click Add to add the color to the library. To change the name of the color, double-click the color name and change it to Pizza Cheese. Press Enter Return to make the change. For the rest of the Pizza Logo artwork, I'd like you to apply your own colors. You can be creative. You've got the pepperoni, crust, pepper, and mushroom to color. You can use the methods you just learned, applying an existing color or making your own, or you can use one of a series of default color libraries that come with Illustrator. To see them, choose Window, Swatch Libraries way down here, Foods, Vegetables, to open a library of color you can use. There are plenty of colors you can choose from in here. If you want to check out other libraries, you can also click the arrows down here, or you can choose the Vegetables Library again by clicking the Swatch Libraries menu here. To apply one of these colors, select a shape with the Selection tool. Make sure the Fill box is selected at the bottom of the Tools panel, so it changes the fill of the shape, not the stroke or border, and click to apply a color. I've got a Creative Cloud library with colors in it from a previous project that I'll use to color my artwork. You won't have access to this, so be creative and explore the color libraries like vegetables I just showed you. When you're all finished applying color, click the X to close this panel. Now that our artwork is colored, let's finish the olive. With the selection tool still selected, drag across just the olive path to select it. In the properties panel on the right, change the fill color to black. Drag across all of the shapes to select them. In the Properties panel on the right, change the stroke weight to 2 by clicking the arrow here, making the border a bit thicker. 
you can leave the stroke color as black. I think the pizza logo looks pretty good so far with color applied to the artwork. As you continue to learn Adobe Illustrator, you'll see that there's much to explore when it comes to coloring artwork, making it easy to realize your creative vision.